right. can, but. I know, people buy my book and they keep it in the shelf for like a year before they even have the courage to read it because they know they will be facing themselves. But, but once they do it, you know what they find? Their purpose. That's mm. what they find. So in some ways, is it like a workbook? It is part of work. I, I, I'm not a big reader, so I was like, right. I want to write a book for myself where it has a lot of images, a lot of pictures, a lot of bright and colorful quotes, and a lot of um, opportunities for people to write about themselves and answer. So, so I tell you my story and how I did it, and then I turn the question to you. How would you do mm. this? What are your because yeah, it's one this. thing to like identify, like you said, bees, or I'm scared of spiders. Yeah. But but right. that's what's that? What's that mm -hmm. really going to get you? It's going to get you to a beehive. Yeah. But if you address a real yeah. deep fear, mm -hmm. where do these fears come from? Is this stuff like we're we're born with? Is it because of how we were raised or where we were raised? Where do a lot of these fears come from? Yes, all of that definitely contribute where fears come from. But as society, I feel like there are some cultural fears, and um, culture creates some some fears for you to wonder, like, I shouldn't dress like this, I shouldn't say that, I shouldn't behave like this. And then if we constrain ourselves so much, where is our authentic self? You know, it's mm. so deep inside. Right. So my invitation is for people to first identify wh what's their authentic self and then have the courage to bring that out into the world, like in their most unfiltered version. But that's what we want. We want unfiltered people. So um, we're so used to perfection on social media mm -hmm. and that's, you know, we're tired of that. I think we need more real people. Yeah, and you have four steps in the book for overcoming imposter syndrome. Explain that and then explain what those steps are. Um, so imposter syndrome is what tells you that you're not good enough, you're not deserving. And so how do we fight that? My first advice, and I think the most important one, is instead of comparing yourself to people around you, which is so easy with social media, we're all the time comparing ourselves, telling ourselves that we're not enough, we have to start contrasting. How do you contrast by looking inside mm -hmm. instead of looking outside? Asking yourself the right questions. What are your top values? What's your tone? What's your unique selling proposition? Like pursuing, perceiving you as a brand and then a real brand, an authentic brand, and then having the courage to put that out into the world. So that would be the first step. Then people ask their, themselves a lot, why me? Why would people listen to me? Why would I be successful? So my invitation is for them to ask themselves, why not me? Why mm -hmm. not? Yeah, it's switch that perspective. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then um, there's a really good exercise I recommend called Unremar Unremarkable Because. And so it's a, making a list of things that make you feel proud of yourself and going back to that every mm -hmm. time that you feel you know, doubtful of who you are. I mean, what's the fourth step? Face the fear. Face the fear. Out there and face it. Just do it. Just do it. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Michelle, for joining us. It's Can't a great place to, to start, though. Yeah, book. we yeah. really appreciate it. Where can people get the book and uh, get more information? Anywhere books are sold, go to Amazon, Burns and Noble, Target, anywhere, um, and definitely go to my um, Instagram, Hello Fears. Yeah. Hello Crush. Fears, and then goodbye fears. Crush goodbye that. Fears. Crush that comfort zone, Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you.